Hello. In this video, we're going to go through and graph y equals negative x squared. Now this is called a quadratic relationship, but we've also called it a quadratic function. Remembering that a function is a special type of relationship. And for those of you that have looked into this, functions have a special type of notation we can use. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. So what we want to do is we're going to use again a table of values to figure out what negative x squared looks like and then we're going to define the direction of opening the vertex if it has a maximum or minimum value in the axis of symmetry. So we're going to, for the first couple, we're going to actually do a substitution and show the work. So negative x squared of x is equal to negative 3 is going to be negative bracket negative 3 squared. So negative 3 squared we know is 9 and the negative out front, so that means that's going to result in a negative 9. If we have negative, negative 2.5 squared, 2.5, negative 2.5 squared is 6.25, and then a negative in front of it, so it's negative 6.25. And again, let's continue this without actually writing this intermediate step. So negative 2 squared is 4, and then negative in front of it, so that's going to give me negative 4. Negative 1.5 squared is 2.25, with but it's negative x squared, so it's negative 2.25. Negative 1 squared is 1. Negative in front of it is negative 1. This is negative 0 0.25. 0, negative 0 0.25. And if you continue filling this out, you'll notice that same sense of symmetry. Now, interestingly, a little calculator point here is that um, we can probably do most of these in our head. But if we can't, we might get our calculator out and work them out. It's really important. To actually take a second, even if you can do all of these in your head, and type them in your calculator. The reason why I say that is, depending on how your calculator functions, you might put in negative, negative 3 squared, and your calculator might, might give you negative 9 or positive 9, depending on how it interprets um, the syntax, that is what you've typed in. And it's really important to become familiar with your calculator. Remember, even though a lot of us work on computers nowadays and we have these calculators in here, it's always useful to have a handheld calculator out and become familiar with that calculator because it's a great tool, but it's really only useful if you if you are aware of, of how it works. And that's something to conscience be aware sorry, to be conscious of as you study. So again, I was talking about this idea of symmetry, so we notice the symmetry between this one and this one up here, right? So again, all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and graph this. So we have 0, 0, but I'm not going to graph every point because of the fact that um, it's just an approximation. So I'm going to graph 1, 1, sorry, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 4, 3, negative 9, and then I'm going to connect the dots like this. If we, if we tried to graph, say, 1.5 negative 2.5 so there's 1.5 and you can see it's about right again this is an approximation so it doesn't have to be exact what, what we're trying to do is graph in what I call the spirit of the graph what does it look like now, as you continue to do graphing of relationships you start to understand that it's more important to understand what the graph looks like um, the shape of the graph the trends of the graph than getting exact points correct so now we're going to do the other side of the parabola there's negative 2, negative 4, negative 3, negative 9, and then we're going to, and there's our relationship, y equals negative x squared. So you might have worked through the first video that graph y equals x squared. What do you notice about this graph and this graph? Well, the first thing we might comment on is the fact that this, the direction of opening, is down the vertex, the point where we change direction. So we're going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, up, going down, going down, going down. The vertex is, doesn't change. Now, though, instead of having a minimum, we have a maximum. 
and the maximum value is at the point zero zero, so it's at the vertex. Interesting thing to take note of. And remember, the axis of symmetry is is the axis that we can make. And we what we'll see is that if we bend this graph over, fold it over that line, it lands on top of itself. And so very important, the axis of symmetry is always the equation of a line. And in this case, it's x equals 0. And it's done. So now we've graphed this function, or this relationship, y equals negative x squared. So the question that you want to walk away from is, and I'm not going to answer right now, but here's the question I want you to think about when you leave this video. Question. What does placing a negative in front of x squared do? So what did placing a negative in front of the x squared do to the graph? And a little hint here is think of this. If y equals x squared, Notice that negative x squared could be thought of as negative y. Have a good think about that. And again, if you have any questions or comments or suggestions of videos you'd like to see, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day.